we have Drew's picking out his dinner right now, but I just want to show you how good do these look. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, they're done now. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about the weekend. I know it's, so it's Thursday now. Um, tomorrow, a lot of you guys are like going into the weekend and I developed this seven day plan for a way for us to stay on track. Thank you. Um, for the weekend ahead and you'll probably notice in your printout it's only five days and there's a reason for that is I wanted to talk to you before the weekend and give you guys some ideas for eating out and that sort of thing so if you find yourself where fast food is the only option for this weekend the top two places that are the best when it comes to like meat quality if you're eating meat um, the quality in their ingredients and that sort of thing can anybody guess <laughs> the top two places are Chipotle and Panera and Chipotle is really delicious one of the suggestions that I have when you go to Chipotle is don't go for the burrito because it's it has a ton of calories and you guys know we don't count calories it's there's a t when you have the tortilla um, it's just a little overabundance especially when you start adding in the rice and everything like that so my suggestion is to either go for the salad or if you're like, I need Chipotle, I want to go for the heartiness of Chipotle, then get the burrito bowl. And what I would suggest is to also eliminate the cheese and the sour cream. And believe me, you're not losing anything. Um, just add in the guacamole. So try it, you know, maybe this weekend you're going to Chipotle, something like that. Try that um, idea out. Also, the other one would be Panera. So Panera has incredible salads and with fall right now, how delicious is it to curl up with like a cup of soup and uh, the little the salad that they have on the side. The Thai one is delicious. So those are my two suggestions if you find yourself out and about this weekend and you're struggling to like stay on track, try to avoid McDonald's, try to avoid Burger King because it's just so many empty calories and you can really get a good nutritious meal out of going to Chipotle or Panera. So another thing too is if you're going to a restaurant, um, Drew and I have been practicing this lately where we will first, both of us will order a side salad and then we'll split a main course because what happens when you go out to eat? Nine times out of 10, you're bringing food home and you're spending like double the amount. So save money, save calories, you know, all that good stuff and go for a meal that you guys can share together that's high in protein uh, you can research the menu ahead of time so you have an idea of what you want to go for and yeah we we love to just load up on especially have a big old glass of water have our salad right away so we have something in our stomach and we're not you know going for cheese curds or something like that and then we're at we're splitting a meal so that's sometimes hard with you know guys guys like to eat a lot I know I know it's sometimes hard but um, try try and see if it works right um, the other thing too what was I gonna I wrote them down over here condiments can be a big one they can add a lot of calories into um, you're loading in a lot of calories especially when you're going out um, so just pay close attention to that if you can opt in for a vinaigrette try that um, a, a really good one is we like to do extra virgin olive oil with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a seasoning of your choice. We happen to use, Drew's family has a Greek all-purpose seasoning. We use that on everything, but you could find an all-purpose seasoning, especially, um, what's the name? Mrs. Dash. That's a really good one just to add to a salad dressing. It's a nice vinaigrette light salad. So um, try that from home. See if you like it. And let me see what else I have written down for you guys. Opt in for veggies instead of fries, that sort of thing. But here's another thing that I wanna to say too. Weekends and veering off track are not horrible. So I don't want you guys to think that you have to be in this mindset all the time of like, oh my gosh, is this gonna blow my, this is gonna blow my calories, this is gonna blow my diet and all that. You gotta live a little bit too. So when I come in here and I talk about these videos, I'm telling you guys about lifestyle it's an 80-20 trade, right? So 80% of the time you're on, you're getting your workouts, you're eating clean, and that 20% allow yourself to have fun, you know? Like we are big beer drinkers and we are we love a burger and fries. So when I tell you this, I, I just say it with, you know, being mindful of what you're eating, keeping that 80-20 rule in mind, don't blow your entire weekend, you know, if you can't. And yeah, so I just thought I'd share those tips. Chipotle, Panera. So have a good upcoming weekend, you guys. And if you do happen to find yourself in one of these places, let us know. 
what helped you or some tips for the entire group. We're always, you know, learning in here too. So love you guys. Talk to you later. Peace.